In this video, we're gonna see how to install N18 locally, that is, installing either in Linux or Windows. So, everyone may know what a N18 is. So, actually, N18 is a powerful automation tool. Using this, you can just automate literally anything without need to code anything. So, with the help of N18, you create something like your workflows. So, the workflows will provide your interface, like where you can just drag and drop to build the workflows using the workflow you can literally automate anything without need to code you can just set it up and automate anything in mini you can see that this is the n18 website where you can just head over to n18.io you can see that flexible a workflow automation and if you scroll on they provide a, a sample workflow now you can see that this is the sample workflow where you can just literally drag and drop you just drag a user form submission this is a, all of this is a drag and drop option you don't have to do anything no coding no technical knowledge just drag and drop so you may ask why we can easily access it on the website why we want to install it locally that is in windows or linux so that is where the pricing comes into picture so when you click on the pricing you can see that anything has a three pricing plans that is the starter plan pro plan so let me click on this pricing to show you why we need to install it locally you can see that the starter plan is 20 euros per month and this pro plan is 50 euros per month and the expertises you have to contact them so this is where the need comes for us to install it locally so when you install it locally you don't have to pay anything you can access all the paid features for free you can see that i have set up the n18 locally consider it is running on the local server so when you click on the features you can see that it says you are on the community edition so you can have the option to use paid features for free forever and consider active workflows zero of unlimited so this is where the power of n18 installing offline comes into picture so actually there are two ways that you can install anything locally the first way is through the node.js and second way is through the docker let me show you the both ways so that you can choose any one of them that suits your needs so let's get started now open a new tab and type node.js and click on this download button so select download node.js so depending on your operating system download the node.js so you can select the version that so make sure you select the long term support that is the LTS. If you are using the Windows, select the Windows. I am using the Linux. I will select the Linux and make sure you download the Node.js. I have already downloaded the Node.js in my machine. So make sure you download the Node.js depending on your operating system. After you have installed the Node.js, open your command prompt or terminal. Let me open up my terminal to see the Node.js version. If you want to see the Node.js version, just type Node-V. Consider version 20 and NPM version NPM-V. You consider currently I am using the npm version 10.8.2 So after I have installed the Node.js Then you can start installing in ATN locally Let me clear the screen so To install the in ATN just type npm install and in ATN You consider in ATN and hyphen G Hyphen G stands for install it locally regardless of the project that you are using And press enter This will install the in ATN in your system Just give you a few minutes it will install all the required dependencies for you You consider it is installing for us you will have to wait for at least 1 to 2 minutes so this is the set of warnings that we can safely ignore the package as move to the another library we can safely ignore the warnings now the n 10 has been installed successfully consider added 2000 packages in less than 3 three minutes and we can run this by just typing a command like n 10 so let me clear the screen or and just type n 10 to start the n 10 server you can see that this is start migrating and we got the URL. So let's click on this URL now. You can see that it is open up the N18 website. And the beauty is it is running on the local server. You can see that it is running on the local host port 5678 and it gave us the setup account. So let's try to fill the setup account now. So let me enter up the email as well as my name and the password and the beauty here is that it is running on the local server and we don't have to pay for anything to use the n 10 So let me click on this next icon. And n 10 server is running here. Consider owner account has been set up successfully. And it uh, redirects to the next website now, workflows. You consider local force port number 5678 and it is on the workflows route. So let me fill this on details randomly. So we can skip this. So if you want to get the paid feature for free, just uh, click on send the activation code, you will get the activation code and you can just uh, paste the activation code here to get your uh, community edition in ETN for free and lifetime. 
Here you can see this is the interface for the NATN website where you can create the workflows unlimited times. You can see that here we have the option to create workflows and you can just drag and drop the nodes here. For example, we can select the Gmail now. So let me type Gmail. So let's click on this now. And Gmail we have a triggers like on message received. So I'm going to skip this. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can create a workflow. So let me skip this. So this video is specifically for how we can install it in Aiken locally, not how we can create the workflows. So let me close this. So if you click, go to the settings now. So if you click on this three icon and click on settings, you can see the usage and plan. Currently, all the paid features are free and it is forever. You can see that all the features are of free and forever you are on the community edition and active workflows is zero of unlimited we can create unlimited workflows since we are using the init and locally so if you click on view the plans it will go to the live website so we don't want to do that so yeah this is it this is how you install the init and using the node.js way so let me uh, stop this init and server by Pressing Ctrl plus C. Consider after we stop the server and if you click on this refresh button, it is not connecting. It says host down. So you can see that we are running this locally. So whenever you stop the server, it will be on down. So whenever the innate and website release some new features, how you can update it in your local machine as well. To do that, we have the option called the updating regularly to the latest command. So npm install innate and at latest iPhone G, this will install the latest N810 version for you. So, using this, even though the N810 is has released a new features in their cloud version, you can also access it in from the offline also by using the like uh, updates option. So, this is one way of installing the N810 locally using the Node.js method. There is another method also that is through the Docker. So, the Docker container in this video is the N810 container. So, just go to the Google and type Docker N810. And in the search bar, select the second option that is the NE10 hyphen 100 million downloads. You can see that this container has been downloaded 100 million times. You see the power of the workflows now. You can see that if you scroll down, you can see option called the sample workflows. If you scroll on even further, they give you option like uh, start NE10 in Docker. So we will deal with this later. First, we will have to download the image, right? That is the container. If you scroll on, they give you option like you can see that pull latest version, pull specific version. This command will give you the latest version of the N8. And or if you want to download the specific version, you can use this. Or if you want to install the next version, you can also do that. But that version will be unstable. That is, it may have some glitches. So I'm going to copy this latest version command and paste it in the terminal. So make sure you install the Docker before you uh, type this command. Let me paste that now. You can see that it is downloading the Docker version for us. Pulling the Docker now. You can see that it is downloading the Docker images for me. So while that is downloading, we can go to the website and start exploring. Now, if you can see, in start any time in Docker. First, we have to create the value. So we we'll have to store the workflow somehow, right? So that's why we have to create the value first. So whenever something happens in the container. That data is also stored in the work volume that we create. So this is the volume create, and below that we have the option to run the Docker. So while it is extracting, let me explain what the commands mean. So first we have the option to run the Docker. Hyphen T stands for we wanna run it in interactive mode. Hyphen hyphen R means whenever the Docker stops, we'll have to delete that container. So if you know the Docker containers, then you know what that means. So and we give you a name like in again and it is mapped to the port 5678 and 5678 so we're gonna map the volume that we created in our windows machine to the docker container so the container is mapped to the n and finally we're gonna uh, run the docker image now so this is the docker image that we are downloading now so that's it so let me type docker images consider we have the docker image right so let me clear the screen and I'm gonna copy this command and paste it here. First, we're gonna create the volume. Now we got the volume, right? Let me copy this command to run the image now. And let's paste that here. And press enter. This will give us the local force the URL similar to 
what we did in the Node.js. So you can see the Navigar the URL. Let me open up this URL. You can see that editor is accessible via this URL. Let's click on that. Again, we got the init and account setup, and it is also running on the local force 5678 port. Let me fill up my basic details. Let's also type the password to set up our N18 account. So finally, click on this next button to create our N18 account. So don't worry, this data is stored locally, not on the N18 server. Let's also fill this and basic details and click on get started. So I'm gonna skip this. So as I tell you earlier, you can just uh, click on some activation code to get your activation code and apply that here to get your N810 community edition for free lifetime. So this is the dashboard of the N810. So if you click on settings, so let me go to the settings. You can see that again we are on the community edition. So the paid features are free and forever. And the active workflow is zero of unlimited. So we can click on this unlock button. You can see that get paid features for free forever. So we can just click on send me a free license key. This will give you the license key and you can paste the license key here. Then you will get your paid features for free. For now, I'm gonna skip this. So let me click on the skip button and the workflows is a zero of unlimited. Currently, we don't have any workflows, but we can create unlimited workflows. While using the anything website, you can't do that. They have restricted the workflows number that you have. So if you click on the personal details, so yeah, any 10 APIs, you can also do this any 10 to the API. So any 10 is only available on the cloud version or the local version. I'm going to close this. So yeah, this is how we install any 18 website locally. And if you stop the server, let me click on this control plus C to stop this any 10 server. And when you stop the server and if you click on this plus, the website will be unable to connect. So yeah, this is it. This is how you install the any 10 in locally aided in Windows or Linux by using the two methods that is the Node.js version and the Docker version and if you want to update it to the latest command you can just copy and uh, paste the command here consider pull latest version that will give you the latest image for you so this is for this video and I will continue in the next one